Hello, lovely viewers, and welcome to Life Lesson Stories. I'm your host, Sarah, and today, we have a heartwarming tale that beautifully illustrates the power of kindness and compassion. Once upon a time, in a quaint village nestled between rolling hills and a crystal clear river, there lived a man named Samuel. Samuel was known far and wide for his unwavering commitment to helping others. His humble home was often filled with neighbors seeking advice, comfort, or simply a friendly conversation. Samuel's days were filled with acts of kindness, both big and small. He would help elderly villagers with their chores, provide food to the hungry, and lend a compassionate ear to those burdened by their troubles. His genuine smile and caring nature were a beacon of hope in the village, and his deeds were woven into the fabric of its daily life. One sunny morning, as Samuel was tending to his garden, he heard a faint cry coming from the nearby forest. Curiosity peaked, he followed the sound until he stumbled upon a wounded bird, its wing broken and unable to fly. Without hesitation, Samuel gently cradled the fragile creature in his hands and brought it home. He fashioned a small splint for the bird's wing, tended to its injuries, and provided it with food and water. Each day, he watched over the bird's progress, nurturing it back to health. His dedication was unwavering, even though the bird's recovery was a slow and delicate process. As weeks turned into months, the bird's wing healed, and it was once again ready to take to the skies. Samuel knew it was time to release his feathered friend back into the wild. With a mixture of joy and sadness, he carried the bird to the edge of the forest and set it free. The bird hesitated for a moment, as if to express its gratitude, before taking flight with a graceful flutter of its wings. Samuel smiled, watching the bird soar higher and higher until it disappeared into the vast expanse of the sky. He knew that he had done his part in helping this small creature, allowing it to experience the freedom it deserved. Years passed, and Samuel continued his selfless acts of kindness. His reputation for helping others grew stronger, and the village prospered as a result of the unity and compassion he fostered among its residents. One evening, as Samuel sat by his hearth, an elderly woman approached his doorstep. Tears welled up in her eyes as she recounted a story from her childhood, a story about a kind man who had helped a wounded bird regain its freedom. She revealed that she was that little girl and that the memory of Samuel's selflessness had stayed with her all her life. As Samuel listened to her tale, he realized the profound impact his actions had on the world. He understood that by helping one creature, he had touched the heart of another, who, in turn, had been inspired to help others. Samuel had unknowingly set in motion a chain of kindness that extended far beyond the borders of his village. And so, Samuel's life remained a testament to the saying, Our primary purpose in this life is to help others. If you can't help them, at least don't hurt them. His unwavering dedication to helping others, whether they were human or animal, had not only enriched his own life, but had also left an indelible mark on the world, proving that a single act of kindness could ripple through time, inspiring others to follow the path of compassion and goodwill. Samuel's life exemplifies the saying, our primary purpose in this life is to help others. If you can't help them, at least don't hurt them. Thank you for joining us on Life Lesson Stories. Remember, it's the ripples of kindness we create that can change the world. If you have a heartwarming story to share, don't hesitate to reach out to us. Until next time, take care, and keep spreading love and compassion.